This is my bracket kit. I've set the brackets up uh, in the cabin and I've placed the grip close to my right hand side. Most tractor pillars have got attachment points for the bracket. The tubes, they can be bent and cut to suit your cabin. To turn on the system, press the button behind the screen. And then press the on off button on the control box. If the screen looks like this, it's because you haven't turned on uh, the sprayer, computer, or you haven't connected some of the plugs. Um, let's check out the controls. The grip has all the most used functions, like the main on off, and the boom up, and the boom down. Here we have the tilt functions for the right and left hand side, and here the slant functions to slant the whole boom. Section valves are here. Every time we press a button, the diode should blink. The set box has six groups of functions. Again, every time you press a button, the diode should blink. This is used to fold and unfold the boom. This is used to unlock or lock the pendulum lock. This is for the uh, twin force functions, if you have such a boom. Here we have the um, uh, liquid system for the pressure up and down manually and the auto function. And here, if you have a tracking system, uh, the controls for that. These two functions are for optional extras. And this is for a foam marker if you're using one of those. The rest of the functions are done through these soft keys. The Sprayer Virtual Terminal, or VT, shows status icons. Here, for the auto application and GPS, uh, here for the track, and also it'll give you uh, uh, signal codes and error codes. The side buttons can toggle between over and under dosage, menu system, readout changes, and functional keys. The VT can be toggled uh, down here or on the actual tabs themselves. When using the auto section control, the HC9500 has to be set up. I'll show and explain this in another video.